My research is in the area of engineering education, which has a lot of components to it, but primarily it's looking at grades K through 20, how people learn, how to get people interested in engineering and how to keep them in engineering. So that means everything from interesting the second grader in math and science and trying to keep that interest going to how to get more women interested in engineering at the undergraduate level and at the graduate level. In this example, we see an application of Newton's laws in a fifth grade class. One of the goals of doing this type of an example is to get the kids excited about science in such a way that they're going to understand what they're seeing and remember it through their middle school science class and their high school science class. This is attempting to show that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. And it's really nice because uh, one of the typical misunderstandings is that, for example, to launch a rocket, it has to be able to push against the earth to launch. In this case, it clearly shows that the uh, fire extinguisher shoots out one way and it propels the skateboard in the other way and the fire extinguisher not, is not pushing against anything so that's actually a really neat demonstration it gives a really good intuitive understanding for the kids then when they get to high school and they see this again not only do they remember what they've seen because they were so excited about it but they understand it and they remember that understanding and so they feel capable and that makes them like their science class and it makes them more likely to pursue a STEM career when they get older.